Hi there, my name's Ivy Collier and I'm here to teach you how to do the tomb farm. First of all, to get started, we need to make sure that we have selected hard mode. With regards to your armour, you need a mask that is attributed to shadow arts. Uh, all your armour needs to be radiant. Uh, a superior shadow rune and a superior deadly arts rune are needed and three attunement runes. Uh, to max up your energy and uh, increase your enchantments, a totemax and an offhand of at least 12 energy are generally required. Okay, the skills you should have equipped are Glyph of Swiftness, Deadly Paradox, Shadow Form, Sliver Armor, Intensity, Death's Charge, Viper's Defense, and Air of Superiority. Um, in case you don't have Air of Superiority, um, I've just used uh, Dash instead. Uh, your attributes, once your armor is fully equipped, should be 4 to Air, air Magic, 12 to Earth Magic, 8 to Deadly Arts, and 15 to Shadow Arts. And once you have all that prepared, you should be about ready to go. Okay, the most important thing to remember is to keep an eye on your shadow form. Uh, let this run out and you're dead. Um, so if you're attributed correctly, using your Deadly Paradox and Glyph of Swiftness followed by shadow form should help upkeep it and maintain it indefinitely. Okay, so first you need to run under the bridge, attract the driders on the opposite side that are going up the steps. Once you have these, you need to run around and go over the bridge and reach the other group of driders on the far side who should be with a group of banished dream riders. If you happen to get stuck while you're running across the bridge, um, just because of uh, all the enemies that are around, then use your viper's defense uh, and keep using this basically until you manage to get out. And while you're doing all this, you should be keeping an eye on your shadow form and the speed at which it's recharging. Once it's almost recharged, do the recast sequence, which should be just tapping one, two, three um, to get shadow form back up and running again. Okay, once you're across the bridge and you've managed to gather everything together, you need to uh, position yourself next to either the uh, Driders or the Banished Dream Riders and uh, prepare for your next uh, recast sequence of your Shadow Form. Uh, it's easier if you wait till Shadow Form recast because whilst you've still got your Deadly Paradox and your Glyph of Swift, uh, Swiftness active, you can then cast your uh, Sliver Armor and it just gives it that extra boost and helps it recharge faster. One thing you do need to be aware of is that the Grasplings use a skill called Fear Me, which um, unfortunately Shadow Armor does not protect you from, and they will take away between 1 and 3 energy away from you every time they cast this. Now it isn't often, so you shouldn't actually uh, lose that much energy from it, but it's something you do need to be aware of. So then basically from this point onwards you just need to make sure you upkeep your shadow form and keep recasting your sliver armor whenever your shadow form um, has just been recast. Um, in, uh, I usually cast intensity whenever I do have the energy, which is usually the first and the third time after I've cast the shadow form uh, once I've reached uh, uh, all the groups together. Once you've killed your riders and your driders, uh, you can either just exit there or you can carry on killing the size of Chaos to try and get uh, extra golds and things from obviously being in hard mode. Okay, to summarise, uh, go into hard mode, cast Glyph of Swiftness, Deadly Paradox and Shadow Form to keep up eternal shadow form. And you just need to use Sliver Armour on the uh, creatures that drop your Ectos, which are your Driders and your Banished Dream Riders. And there you have it, your quick guide to tomb farming, and I wish you luck in getting lots of Ectos.